A blessed day, angels! It's me, Richelle, your storyteller for today. Welcome to LACA Library's storytelling program, Learning Books, Stories from the Heart. Are you ready to listen and learn? Very well then! Do you have friends? Do you love your friends? Do you treat them well? That's great! Our today's story is entitled, Sampung Magkakaibigan, or in English, Ten Friends. Story by Christine Cannon and illustrated by Ruben De Jesus. Published by Adarna Publishing House. There were ten friends. Carlo and his nine classmates. Slow Ben, Chevy Susie, Leo, Lara, Karen, Ju Chan, who was Korean, the twins Eric and Ella, and Sleepy Anton. They liked playing, studying, and helping each other. But sometimes, Carlo was not fun to be with. Bella! Carlo teased when he overtook Slow Ben in the line. Angels, don't do this to your friends, okay? Ben shook his head and walked away from Carlo. Kadiri, you're not a friend of mine, exclaimed Carlo when he found himself beside shabby Susie. Carlo did not notice Leo's tall tower of blocks. Leo's tall tower of blocks fell to the ground. Ha ha ha! Serves you right! Carlo told Leo. Give that to me! Carlo said as he grabbed Lara's toy. This is mine too! Carlo said as he grabbed the suman that Karen was eating. Carlo also hit the noodles Ju Chan the Korean was eating, but he did not say sorry. Don't you know how to play this game? Don't join this game anymore! Carlo taunted Eric and Ella after he lost at Pompyang and was the next eat in their game of hide and seek. Carlo tried to wake Anton up so that they could play. Hey! Wake up! Carlo shouted at sleepy Anton. But Anton did not wake up. You're not my friend! Carlo told Anton even if Anton could not hear him. Carlo was all alone now. One day, Carlo came to school and looked for his classmates. He wanted to play, but there was no one in the classroom. Oh, they are gone! Where do you think are they? Are they in the playground? There was no one in the playground. Are they in the canteen? There was no one in the canteen. Carlo started to wonder. Hmm. Mm. Where are they? Let's find out. Carlo saw his classmates playing happily in the schoolyard. They never used to play there. They saw Carlo, but they didn't invite him to join them. Do you want to play with me? Carlo started to cry when he realized that nobody wanted to play with him. Maybe this was how bad his classmates felt when he grabbed their toys and food. Maybe 
This was how painful it felt when he teased and fought with them. Hmm. What do you think will Carlo do now? It was then that Carlo thought of being a nicer classmate. The next day, Carlo approached Slow Ben while they were lining up. You can line up ahead of me, Carlo told Ben. I love you. He told Shabby Susie and kissed her. You can share my snack. Carlo told Karen and Ju Chan at recess time. Carlo lent Lara his new toy. You can play with it first, okay? He told Lara. He invited Leo to make a tall tower of blocks. What game are you playing? Can I join you? Carlo asked Eric and Ella. We might wake Anton up with our noise, reminded Carlo. There were ten friends, Carlo and his nine classmates. And that ends our story for today. Angels, always remember to be a good and loving friend to your classmates, playmates, and friends. And as it is stated in the Bible in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 33, Do not be misled. Bad company corrupts good character. And in Luke chapter 6, verse 31, Do to others as you would have them do to you. Thank you for watching. God bless you all. Till next time. Bye.